so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you're doing extremely well so guys this is a gfg POTD video i've already uploaded uh, back in the day right now right today only so i wanted to apologize apologize you guys that the code was not working fine i got to know about through comments right so what was actually happening is that they actually changed the stress cases if you see it is showing correct and if i paste this exact code here let me copy it Control C and let me paste it here. I'm showing you the evidence, right? And submit, right? It was showing correct there, right? Let me show you something here. See, it is showing incorrect now. And you can see on the submission tab also. If I refresh this, it is showing correct for the same code and correct error, incorrect for the same code. And the test cases have also changed. It was 1121 uh, previously and it is 1120 right now. Okay, so I, I consider that this is my mistake that I didn't understand the algorithm perfectly, but the test cases were designed so much that I thought that my answer is running fine. Okay, so the problem I was facing is that I was doing that I was storing the frequency, like the frequency is one, two, two. So my array was coming one, two, two, right? I thought that the only possible array for this formation is one, one, two, right? Or something that previous elements have got bigger numbers than this. But someone in the comment, uh, a very intelligent guy told me that the test case like this, where I can move this one to get two two, is working fine. And I totally agree with him. Shout out to you, brother. Thank you very much to tell me this. And I always tell that this channel is made to consume the uh, user's request, right? So I am here with uh, you to tell you the correct approach. So actually, the correct approach is also discussed in the previous video only. I will tell you once again in short uh, in short form. So what we will do is we will do nothing say different we will just take the frequencies like one two two correct and then one by one uh, first first i will uh, make it minus one that is it will become zero two two i will check if all of them are equal then i will make it two two uh, one one two then i will check if it is equal then i will make one two one and i will check if they are equal right this is my only approach i will do and the code will work fine. I've already discussed the approach in detail in the previous video. So I request you to watch that. I've discussed the time complexity, space complexity, everything. The link will be in the description, right? And once, upon, uh, once again, I apologize that I didn't consider it through and wasted your time. So please forgive me for that. Let us code it real fast, right? Let us code it real fast, right? So algorithm up till here that we are sorting the frequency will be remain same. Then we will defining a function if all same. And we will pass our frequency array into it. If this returns true, return true. This is for the case when you are not deducting any character because you have to deduct at most one character, right? All right. So otherwise, for int i equals to zero, i less than frequency dot size i plus plus traverse the array. If the frequency is already zero, you cannot do anything about it, right? If frequency is not equal to zero, you can deduct it. So frequency of i minus minus and now if all same in frequency return true otherwise frequency i plus plus and move to the next iteration right also return false if none of them return true so the only thing left us for is we have to uh, reduce the function is if all same right so bool all same taking a vector vector int frequency right what do we do uh, we create a variable cur int cur equals to minus one now for auto it and we will traverse the frequency array see if my it is equals to equal to zero i can't do anything because that character doesn't exist right so continue in that case else if if my it exists but my cur is minus one cur is equals to minus one in that case make your cur equals to it for the next iteration right it will be else if wise and else it is also if right else what do you do if your cur is not equals to your current it like your it is not zero and your cur is not one minus one that is you have encountered a uh, vector that encountered an array encountered a character right with the frequency if we not equal to the another character with the same frequency, return false. And if the return false statement is not executed for any iteration, return true. So these were the only changes you have to do. Hope it works. Let's try to combine and run it. 
hope I'm not committed any error. All right, so let me see. Oh, there has been an error. Frequency was not delivered in the scope in line 12. Oh, it is. That's just a timing mistake. Let's try it now. Oh, again an error. Curl is not equals to it. Um, just a minute, wise. Expected a colon before null. Oh, returning false. For auto in frequency, if it is not equals to equals to zero, if else if cur equals to equals to minus one, else if cur is not equals to it. Oh, sorry, it will be else if. Sorry, sorry for my mistake. It will be else if, right? This is a condition, not an else statement. Sorry for my mistake, guys. It should run fine now. Oh, running fine. Let's try it for submit also. And if you find any problem now, please feel free to comment and correct me. So you can see correct submission count too. Okay. So thank you for watching and have a nice day. We we'll meet tomorrow with a new question. Right. And our first placement lecture will be uploaded by today, 8 p.m. sharp. And I will launch it on Premiere. So to create a curiosity among you guys. Okay. So thank you guys for watching the video and hope you liked it. Thank you.